I think last time we spent at around four, five hundred dollars. Hi guys, good morning. It's four seventeen p.m. And it's December 21 today, so today, so we have four days until Christmas, and it's our Vlogmas day 21. And today we are going to grocery shop for our month supply, and we are going Christmas shopping as well, Christmas grocery shopping. So join us in our grocery shopping, grocery shop with me. So let's go. By the way guys, this is my OOTD. I'm wearing a sando and this skirt and a denim jacket. Yeah! And I'm gonna wear my white shoes. Let's go. Our budget is $500 and let's see if It'll last until the next month. So we're trying to fit the $500 budget for a month because we used to spend at least $200 per week for our groceries when we used to um, grocery shop weekly. But now we actually saved a lot of money when we started grocery shopping once a month. We're trying to keep that pace. I'll be showing you later what we bought. I will be doing a grocery haul once we get back. See ya! back in the car and we are now going to buy our hygiene products and we usually go to Cracker Jack because there are some great deals over there so we're going there right now and then after that we are going to buy the rest of our groceries uh, in Countdown countdown and we just got a few items from Cracker Jack 
since uh, we only picked the cheapest ones that we can find there. And then we're buying the rest of the, our groceries in Countdown. And then after this, we're going home. And I think I'm going to make a um, quick haul of the things that we bought from the stores that we went to today. It's already 6 p.m. so I think we spent at least an hour already um, from grocery shopping and I think last time we spent at around $500 for our groceries last month but we still went to the grocery store for like after a week or two but we bought just a few items like some snacks and everything so we probably spent a total of six to six hundred dollars six to seven hundred dollars i think and right now we're trying to fit our budget for under five hundred dollars for this month and we already spent at least three hundred dollars we already spent three hundred dollars from uh today yes so we're going in at Countdown now. See you later! Yes, I know.
are finally home, you guys. And I'm going to show you what we bought. And I'm going to place everything in our pantry. <laughs> Most of the items here are um, junk foods and this is the coffee that I'm drinking. It's from the Philippines. I mean, it's made in the Philippines. It's a Filipino product. This one is, we always use this Sinigang mix for our Sinigang. And we are not going to cook spaghetti, but sometimes my husband craves for spaghetti. That's why I want to um, keep at least a pack of this Filipino style uh, sauce so that whenever he craves for spaghetti I can easily make one and this one this one is already open because um, it's in my husband's car he always keeps this in his car that's why I have this here this uh, these Pringles were two for five dollars so I bought two and I also bought this at the Asian store. It's an Aris Caldo mix. And if you're a Filipino, you know that we love eating Aris Caldo. We call it Goto. And I also bought this. It's a Champorado. It's a porridge, rice porridge. So this is also a Filipino food. And I also bought this. I also bought a condensed milk and a Nestle cream and this um, buko pandan flavor because we are going to make buko pandan salad for this Christmas um, noche buena and of course some sliced bread I know this will not last for at least a month but at least um, it will last for at least two weeks for us and I also bought some fruits because it's Christmas, so we have to fill our um, fruit bowl. But we're not much into fruits, but I just want to have some fruits for our um, for this Christmas. And these are all Filipino junk food. So if you notice, we're not much into foreign snacks. So we have this green peas, we cut chippy, crackling, pillow. So those are these are our favorite snacks. Um, apples are expensive this month. So usually we can buy a whole bag of apples for at least one dollar. 
or less than that actually but right now um, in the asian store apples are really expensive it's at least four to five dollars per kilo that's why we only bought just four apples because we seldom eat them anyway i just want to fill our fruit bowl i also bought this uh, last minute at the counter since sometimes i'm craving for skittles i'm looking for skittles as a snack and this is my husband's um, snack. He bring this to work, so he bought two of these. And then that's probably it. Uh, we have here Spam. My husband loves Spam, so he bought one, just one. And I have this natural coarse sea salt because we have... Um, this one so I'm um, just I'm just going to refill this with that pack. and that's it so I'm going to store these items in our kitchen pantry kitchen cabinet by the way I use salon pass for um, my backache especially around my shoulders same with this picture I usually put my uh, salon pass on this same part that she that the picture has. Uh, by the way, I also bought this gulaman pack for the buka pandan and of course papaya soap because I also use papaya soap. Anyway, let's place everything on the cabinet now and let's start. Let's start. Usually, I buy this large pack of Copico, but they don't have one now in the Asian store. That's why I settled for this smaller packs. But of course, if you're going to buy two smaller packs, they're a little expensive compared to just one whole pack of this Copico. This one, I'm going to try this. It's an all-in-one Ajax cleaning solution. I haven't tried this yet, and this is the first time that I'm going to try this. So hopefully, um, oh my god, I already threw the spray. Let's see. So I was supposed to refill this to the previews. Um, spray bottle that we have, but I already threw it, so we'll see. Anyway, um, I'm going to throw this now. And I also bought this. 
I'm going to fill this here. I'm sorry, I'm going to fill this here. And this is this is the antibacterial wipes that I'm using. It's four dollars, but with the same price, four dollars for eighty wipes, but with the same price, this has one hundred wipes already. But the reason why I bought this is because it's biodegradable, but this one is not. So probably I don't know. I'll try this first, but I think I'll, I'm going to return to using this after I finish this one. But this one has 100 wipes for the same price. And dishwashing liquid, I'm going to put this there. So I'm going to try this another uh, this other scent, but this is the previous one that I'm using. But I'm going to try this. It's just the same um, brand. Of course, baking soda, body wash, body soap. Toothbrush for me. So let's first. If you're going to buy a bottle of this fabric conditioner, it's around five dollars. But if but if you're going to buy this, it's only three dollars. So it's actually much cheaper than if you're going to buy a whole new bottle. Let's pour this first. I actually poured more water than expected. So I think I'm going to use this for later. Hi guys, so finally I already kept all the grocery items that we bought today and hopefully it will last up to next month just like our groceries last month. I'm just happy that we were able to find the right budget since we really needed this. Um, some because sometimes we spend too much on our groceries that sometimes we waste food and you know if you're on a tight budget, you can't afford to waste food or money so hopefully everything will last until next month and i'm so happy we just have four more days until christmas and i'm so excited we already bought the ingredients that we will be needing for our christmas dinner so that's part of our budget as well for this month i hope you're still watching my vlogmas videos thank you guys and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram at love trisha 12 Bye!